Hi folks. Well, here I am in the kitchen today and today is January the 25th, which many of you will know is the, the birthday of our national bard, our national poet, Robert Burns. So it's quite a big thing in Scotland this and throughout the world. Um, uh, so often we would celebrate on this day or around this day with a thing called the Burns Supper. And these are often very big events that people would go to um, in hotels and Burns clubs, because there are clubs, Burns clubs throughout the world, or in various places. Um, <clears throat> but also you can have your own Burns Supper in your house. And June and I always, every year um, on the 25th of January, we will have our own little burn supper. Um, we may also go to uh, bigger burn suppers, but you know, we'll have our own burn supper and you could do the same. So I've got everything I need here and I'm um, going to be getting it ready for this evening. So it's just going to show you what you need for a burn supper. It's very, very simple and you could do it yourself. Um, and it doesn't have to be tonight, it could be tomorrow night, it could be at the weekend, it could be whenever. Usually it's round about the 25th, um, we'll, we'll do this. So the food side of, it, side of it is made up of three things. Haggis, tatties and neeps. Haggis, tatties and neeps. So just practice that. Haggis, tatties and neeps. That basically is haggis, which I'll show you. Potatoes, which you'll probably know about. And turnip. Um, which you may call sweet, so uh, I think, uh, anyway, so haggis, I have my haggis here, so this is a haggis, and it's not anything bad, I know there's lots of things about haggis, here it is, I personally adore haggis, um, this one is from a firm called Simon Howie, who's very well known, uh, Scottish butcher, but you can get lots of haggis, McSween's I think is a, a very popular one, Staley's is a very popular one, and um, there are lots of them. Um, now there have been issues with um, get buying haggis in North America, I know that, and, and perhaps in other countries, and I think that's because it uses um, the lungs of a sheep, uh, that's as simple as that, and in some countries that's not looked upon. So I think there are um, versions of haggis available in those countries, certainly I think in America, um, that doesn't contain that element. Um, but I have been eating haggis. <laughs> I have been eating haggis all my life and I love it. And I don't just eat it at Burns times. I love it actually, if it's ever on the menu, uh, maybe as a starter, I'll, I'll have haggis. And hey, it's not done me too much harm, I don't think. Well, maybe you can disagree with me on that. <laughs> so anyway, what, what have we got to do here? We've got to peel, it's very simple. We've got to peel the potatoes and we're going to boil them. So I've got a bag of potatoes there and I'm going to peel all them and we're going to boil them. I'm going to peel the turnip, which is quite hard, it's a very hard dish. Well, actually it takes longer to um, boil the, so I'm going to, I'll probably do the, the turnip first. So it's got to be all cut up into small bits. And then it will be mashed. So the potatoes will be mashed, you know, a masher, and the, the turnip will be mashed as well. So what you'll have is mashed potatoes and mashed turnip. And then we'll boil, so it's all boiling, we'll boil the haggis as well. And for a certain amount of Now the only other things that you would probably need, that I'll need, or you would need as well, to have a, that's your food, uh, is you should have a glass of whiskey, I think. You know, even if you don't like it, try a glass of whiskey. <laughs> um, you might find you like it. I'm going to try this one tonight, which is one that June got me, um, Clan Fraser Reserve. Um, so she got me that down from the Borders Distillery, down in the Scottish Borders. So I'm going to try that one tonight. I probably just put a bit of water in mine. That's how I generally drink whiskey. Just a touch of water, I always think it enhances the, the flavour. Um, so I certainly will have that. I won't drink the whole bottle, just to let you know. I'm just going to have a glass or two. And you should also try, if possible, to recite a piece of Robert Burns. Because if you went to a big Burns supper, that's what they'd do. They'd be reciting, there'd be speeches, reciting poetry, but very humorous, very funny speeches, I thought. Um, so this is my Robert Burns, complete works of Robert Burns that I have here, well used and annotated, as it were. My favourite poem, which if you've been following my um, videos and things, posts, then you would know uh, that is, is one called John Anderson, my Joe. 
There it is there. John Anderson, my Joe. It's a lovely, lovely love poem with just two verses. Um, I absolutely adore it. I've adored it all my life. And Sammy, the thing of that tonight. Um, so we'll mark that bit. But you can do any others. You can go online and just get some of his poetry. A man's man for all of that you could easily do. Now he does write in Scots, which is a form of English. And, you know, there's some words here that you might not understand. But hey, it's just nice um, to do it. So that's the elements for your burn supper. That's all you need to do. And then you could sit down, you could maybe put a tartan tie on or a tartan scarf on or some element of tartan. Invite your friends, have your own little burn supper. It's very easy to do and it's great fun. It's very slow to, if you have a couple of whiskies. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get on and do this and I'm hopefully going to show you the results later on and you can see for yourself um, how we've got on. See you later. Right, that's me already now, done all the preparation work and I've got my burn, out my burn supper, our burn supper here and I'm just going to show you what it is. It's very simple. I'm just going to show you what I've got. So what we've got is our potatoes all cut up, ready to start boiling. They won't take too long, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Scottish potatoes from Persia, lovely. And here, our lovely haggis, wrapped in tin foil, set in boiling water, and uh, it'll take about uh, 45 minutes to the boil. So we need to get that one on pretty quickly. And here's our turnip. Very hard to cut up all that turnip. However, there you go. And uh, it'll take mm, at least half an hour. It takes longer than the potatoes. So we've got to get them all put together. So yeah, ready to get my buns supper uh, meal on cooking. A um, couple of things I meant to mention to you. One is that uh, I'm pretty sure you can get vegetarian haggis abroad as well. So if you are vegetarian and you're thinking, well, I can't have haggis, um, you can certainly buy it in Scotland. And um, obviously it wouldn't contain any, any of the, the, the elements uh, that would cause problems abroad. So I'm pretty sure you could, you could get that. Um, also that poem I was telling about, John Anderson, my Joe, um, you, if, you, if you've got the time, go into my YouTube channel, Gordon Scotland, and I have a video just on that uh, poem and I read it and uh, I explain to you what the poem means. It's a lovely, lovely um, love poem. So if you get a chance, try and go into my YouTube channel and you'll see it there. Um, so uh, I suppose the last thing to say was burnt suppers are, whilst they are traditional, yeah, there's a tradition to them and, and they would be in Scotland, uh, haggis, ties and neeps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Robert Burns wouldn't mind if you have a bun supper and it's you just eat whatever you want. You know, he was a very sociable uh, man, Robert Burns. Uh, he loved uh, socialising and, and parties. And he loved the lassies. So I'm pretty sure he would be more than delighted um, if a group of lassies were having a, a bun supper in his honour. Um, and... Uh, just eat whatever you want to be honest and I'm sure you'd be delighted. Um, anyway, I'm going to get this on and then hopefully I'm going to show you it when it's done, when it's plated and um, we're ready to eat our burn supper. See you later. So, my burn supper is all ready now, just put it on a plate so let's go and have a look and see what it's like. So, here we go, two lovely burn suppers ready to wait going through and a glass of whiskey and my Burton's poetry, a wee bit of pepper in the turnip, the tumshies helps, oops, and uh, a wee bit of butter and milk in the mashed potatoes, lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'm going to go through now and enjoy my lovely burn supper with June and uh, all I really want to say to you now is all the very best from Scotland. Slangeva, good health. And hopefully, sometime soon, you'll have your very own burn supper. <laughs>